What's up everybody and welcome back to another Tusker Gaming video. Today I'm here with Grayson, he's my roommate unfortunately, and we're gonna play a bit of Subnautica. Okay, so let's start the game. Start a new game over, uh, we'll try survival mode. Uh, so, the basis of this game is that you're on that big ship and you crash, la crash land into a giant sea. Looks like they're not having a very good day. No, they're not having a good day. That's very observant. And this loading screen just takes forever. So, I'm just gonna jump now. Okay, now we're back with the, I guess, explanation for the video. Or for the game. So you were on the ship Aurora. Do you know what planet we crash land on? I don't think it says. All, all it says is that, like right now it says, catastrophic hull failure has occurred at 100,000 meters above sea level. Well... It's or, obvious that we were attacked by someone because those don't just randomly happen. That, Unless there was ship malfunctions where some uh, somebody just fucked up and blew up half of our ship. This is otherwise true. that guy should get fucking fired because that man should be fired from a cannon. I'm pretty sure he's dead. from a cannon. He's lodged him out to sea. Who yeah, cares? He's jettisoned him into space. So what I do know, uh, if is, I was a captain. <laughs> Oh, you're uh, 15 minutes to your ship, a uh, shift, Private Ryan. Why do you have to pick on Private Ryan? He's you always in trouble. Yeah, but he went through World War II. Anyway, so I know I need to get a survival knife and a scanner in this episode at least. So, let's see what we need. So I know I need, um, so, personal. Uh, survival knife is titanium and silicone rubber, so I need to find some limestone and some quartz for that. I know that from playing the multiple takes that this doesn't seem to want to record. Um, and then, for the scanner, I need titanium and a battery, and the battery is under electronics. It's, um, I have the copper ore, and I need two um, acid shrimps. So I need titanium, so that's gonna be easy. I just need to get um, some salvage. Salvage and quartz. And then I need acid shrooms. Oh, you see that? See you, walrus. It's not a walrus. It's a seal. A seal walrus. He's a clubfoot. Okay. That's a nice ship. Not really. He's kind of blown to shit. Yeah. Well, you win something, you lose something, I guess. So what happens if you punch one of them in the face? I don't want to try. What about that one? No, I'm okay. What about a little fish? I don't think I can. I can't punch anything. Can because you get like a harpoon? No, I can get a survival knife, but I don't have said requirements for survival knife. So, you can build yourself all this shit, but you can't build yourself a fucking car uh, harpoon. I never said I couldn't build a harpoon. Oh. This game's not fully out yet. It's still in early access. I thought you said that you just can't fucking build a harpoon. I'm just like... Maybe they'll add a harpoon. Is it not in there already? I want a harpoon. I know you want a harpoon! But we, first we need, a, we need titanium. Okay. So, let's go into our per, uh, tools. Okay, I need silicone rubber. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so I got some rubber. So now we can make the survival knife. I need a battery. You got what it takes to make it? Yeah. I picked up the copper, which was in like the tutorial thingy. And now I got a scanner. What's the scanner do? A uh, scanner, you can scan different things underwater. And, um, basically figure out what it all does and what it means. So, like this. Uh, this is a, what I believe to be a, yeah, sea moth fragment. Sea moth is your personal, like, submarine. So what you do is you scan it and sit here. 
for an extremely long amount of time. You probably run out of air. That's what I'm always scared of. But done. So there's five of those. And you gotta find them. Yeah, you you find them all, and then you get the blueprints for the sea moth. And see, there's a peeper. Which, um, I believe... Oh, and the sea moth is the... Kind of like the... Your personal vehicle. Submersible? Your personal submersible. The personal submersible vehicle. Submersible? No, I can't say that. I can't even say that. Say that like six times fast now. Right. Submersible, personal, uh, subaquatical... Convertible. Convertible. I don't think... That would be work. horrible. I don't think it'd work very well if it didn't have a fucking top on it. <laughs> right? Oh! So wait, what's the point of having a submersible with no top on it? Don't worry about it. It looks cool. Kennedy had one. Why can't I? No one questioned Kennedy. I'm pretty sure a couple people questioned Kennedy. Not anymore. No, it wasn't Kennedy who had it. Who had the, who had the duck, the duck car? The one that used to take people out on uh, the river. Wasn't that Reagan? Might have been Reagan. I don't know. Kennedy had a convertible. Trivia question. Kennedy did have a oh, convertible. Oh, I found another Seamoth. That's kind of a sore subject, though. <laughs> Dude, you don't have enough air for that. I do, too. Oh, I'm going to make it. I'll make it. I have ten seconds. Up, 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 up. There we go. Uh, ah, frame, frame rates. Rate. Okay. Um, Are they at least in like good uh, good places, like close by? I don't know. That's the problem. Because I don't think it'd be very cool for it to be like. Oh, oh yeah, I don't. This one's all the way on the other side of the map. Good luck finding oh. it. Oh, and I don't know how big the map is either. Attention. Detecting but we'll try to get the size of an entire planet. Trend we'll try to get the um, degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core so due to damage sustained during collision. Continue we've to listen to the. Oh, okay. Story's gone. What I'm guessing is this is a fish. It could be. Fish? Has cropped up yet? I guess it's fairly new. And we don't know if there's land. Oh no! What the hell was that? I don't know what that is! Dude, it just blew up! It blew up in my face! Yep, just cook it. I'm just gonna hold that air sack there. Nah. Not after this one. Let me cook it. Cause see, look, I'm, I'm, I'm low on carrot. What can you really do when you're low on carrot? Eat a bunch of air sac. Not the taste good. I don't know. I would assume not. No, I, w I wouldn't. Eat that? Uh, no, I couldn't catch it. I tried to. Okay, so what's in a flashlight? Um, deployables. No. Ooh, what's that? Waterproof locker. Oh, it's like a little storage thing I can have underwater. That's pretty cool. Personal tools, flashlight. I need ba a battery and silicone rubber. So let's get that too in this episode. Okay, so I need. I have the silicone. I just need the ru uh No. Yeah, the silicone rubber I have. I just need the battery. So do I have copper? I do have copper, so I just need acid shrimps. Shrooms! This is really bad because I'm allergic to mushrooms in real life. So I'm glad they're being used for other other stuff than a consumption. Hey man, maybe that's like next on video game technology. Is where it legitimately puts you in the game. If you have an allergy to something, sucks, dude. <laughs> no kidding. I wouldn't get very far in this game at all. Okay, so what we need is to basic. We need to get some rubber, and we need a battery, which is under the electronics. Okay. And now we got a flashlight for the dark times. Dark times. Can okay. you trick out your seamals? Yes. Well, were you trying to like do the whole like I am your father? <laughs> Luke, I am your father. 
No. Kind of like. <laughs> And you know, you know the funny thing is, most people actually believe that it's Luke, I am your father. When it's really, uh, uh, no, Luke, I am your father. I am your father. Yeah, just, just enough of enough people have said Luke. Well, oh, it's mostly because. Uh, See, this is where I need the air sac because I'm not gonna be able to scan this completely. Of I don't care. I don't care. I can do it. Up, up. I can do it. Oh! Oh! Yeah! I got that. <laughs> Don't question my mad breathing skills. <laughs> you know, I always wanted, I always wanted a trampoline when I when I grew up. I never got a trampoline. I always asked my parents for a trampoline, and never got one. Oh, I need more air. I wasn't paying it attention to my air. A Was it a jumpoline, really? Until your mama jumped on it. That was horrible. <laughs> that was a really bad joke. <laughs> It was total one I totally didn't steal from the internet. Yeah, we don't steal things from the internet. Mm -mm. That would be stupid. Hey, at least I admitted it. Um. Okay, so maybe you should do this not underwater. <laughs> don't worry about what I'm doing under and above water. It looks like there's like two layers to the oh, water. Oh, another sea moth. How many do you have? Four, or three? This is gonna be my fourth. Can you, like, upgrade that to go faster? I wish. I don't know, actually. Maybe. Four of five. Wow. Is sun already coming up? Yeah. Man, so nighttime only lasts, like, a short amount of time, man. Maybe we're just closer to the sun. Maybe the sun's not... This sun is not... Well... Long. Well, it wouldn't matter how close you are to the sun. Well, that's not true. It would, it would matter on uh, the Your speed... Radius? No, the speed Emergency. of the... Uh, Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Well... Uh, the closer you are to the sun, the less well, distance the close... you have to travel. So even if you are going... No, that's, that's years. What? Yeah, but that's years the distance. Years are around the sun. Correct, but, but the... Days oh, are I suppose the you're right. turn of the planet. So yeah. it's probably got a faster turn speed than Earth. Right. Mercury... Mm. Days on Mercury last, like, actually pretty long. It's just they have a... Mercury has a very I caught a boomerang. Short, Can I throw Very it? short year. Oh, I can't throw it. I want to find the last sea moth. What was it like? Freaking like Pluto's got like a freaking like year that lasts like forever in a day. Yeah, ninety or no, not even like longer than ninety years. What am I thinking? Like I heard that it the was. The last sea moth. It became. It, oh, it became a planet. Up, 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 up. Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Oh, oh! I should watch my oxygen. I'm gonna drown myself. It became a planet, lost its planet status, became a planet again, and then lost it again within one year. It's not a planet anymore? No, it's not a planet anymore. I thought it was a planet. No, they, they consider it a dwarf planet. Again? Yeah. I guess it like became like a like a legitimate planet for like Sweet. So a now a short amount of time. Now we can finally make our sea moth. Now you won't drown so much. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. I turned off the other screen so Grayson's Glasses wouldn't be glaring as bad. So I don't know how long I've been recording. That? Just floating around the water over there? What? That? Yeah. That little black speck right there? Is it a squid? I don't know. But we'll figure it out in the next episode. So I thank you guys for watching. If you like this, please let me know in the, in the comments below. Homework. Figure out which president had the aqua car. That's what I want to know. But I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. You know, this game is really creepy. You know, I like it a lot, but it's very creepy. Told ya!